Hello and welcome to Battle Report number 4 for the channel. You may have noticed that it's been a few weeks since I've done one of these. Uh, it's a number of things. Um, mostly the last two battles have been uh, quite quite crap um, in general and not terribly exciting. Um, the first one uh, the first one of those battles I didn't record was a uh, sufficient destruction of me. I mean, it might be okay to watch, but it was full of a lot of errors, and it's been a while since I played it, so I didn't upload it. The uh, next battle I skipped was a battle against Lizardmen uh, that was over on turn two from a giant purple sun, eating the entirety of his army. So, wow, hilarious. Uh, for a minute, it, it turns out to be a pretty, pretty subpar um, um, game in general. Not a lot of combat, everything just died, so I'm uh, skipping that one. So we're going to go to Battle Report 4, which would be, you know, indexing appropriately would be 6, but we're going to skip that part. This is a team game. Uh, my wife and I are going to a GT uh, in the middle of June, where there is a uh, team component uh, for the first day. Uh, followed by singles, and the team component setup is a 2,000 point limit, uh, 1,000 point for each army, uh, following the standard team rules out of the book. Um, the only other restrictions would be um, you cannot have duplicated spells uh, between the armies, and you can't have duplicated uh, magic items between the two armies. So, um, in that effect, my wife and I were originally planning on doing a, uh, trying to pull off a Wood Elves plus Beastmen uh, army, um, but the the uh, distrusted allies and terrible leadership on the Beastmen side, uh, the, the, the test games we played with that didn't come out very well, so we decided Dwarves plus Wood Elves. So, uh, the group of people at the gaming store wanted to play, so they put together a Dwarves plus High Elves list. So, uh, we'll go over those lists quick. Dwarfs plus High Elves. Um, they just, the, the High Elves have a, a level 4 on High Magic. Uh, two units of Archers. A unit of White Lions. <coughs> of 16, Full Command, Band of the World, Dragon. And two Bolt Throwers. The Dwarfs in the Dwarfs plus High Elves have a Thane BSB. A Runesmith, uh, who has a uh, spell breaking uh, 2. Um, and 25 warriors, hand weapon shields, organ gun, gyrocopters times three. Uh, so, then again, they, they threw that list together right in front just to play us with what they had. So, the dwarfs plus wood elves. The wood elves have a level four of heavens, carrying the book of Escher. Uh, level two of death, great eagle, talisman of preservation, who will therefore be referred to as Tim, as my wife likes to do. Uh, 10 Glade Guard Musicians True Flight, 10 Glade Guard Musicians True Flight, and 10 Glade Guard True Flight. No musician. The Dwarfs in the Dwarves and Wood Elves. A runesmith, Double Spell Breaking Stone Shield. Uh, Master Engineer Grommel Great Weapon. 17 Thunderers, Full Command Shields. And, uh, the Captain has the Pistol Upgrade. Uh, organ Gun, Accuracy Forging, Grudge Thrower, Accuracy Forging Flaming, Cannon Forging, and a Gyrocopter. So, Spells. Uh, we have, uh, as you can see, Spirit Leech and Buna, Faith of Buna, and then uh, a pretty good, a pretty good selection of Heavens. So our opponent has spells, as you see here, all from High, I believe. So uh, we'll go straight to deployment. Uh, on their opponent's left side, have their three gyrocopters, Bolt Thrower, Grudge Thrower, uh, Warriors. And then the uh, White Lions, Archers in the Woods, uh, Bolt Thrower Barely in the Woods, Archers in the Woods, and Organ Gun in the Woods. On our left side, we'll start out, we have a Gyrocopter behind the Woods, Tim next to him. All of the, uh, the, the our free wood there is just the, the cutout. Uh, we're, we're working on a real one, but it's so much easier just to lay down the, the stencil tracing, essentially. Um... All of the archers are in the woods, and uh, there's a better picture of that. Uh, the thunderers with the runesmith and master engineer are in front, and our organ gun is entrenched. That's why there's a dice in front, and I forgot to bring the entrenchment piece I made, with cannon and grudge thrower behind. So, 
Uh, pretty good, actually, a little setup for us. We can we can sit there and pew pew, and that'll be good, and they'll have to come to us, and Tim and the gyrocopter will fly around and be jerks. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry for the coughing, I, I'm a little sniffly this morning. So, turn one, uh, our opponents get turn one, even though we had the plus one. Uh, movement, they just move up the uh, the bricks a little bit here, and the gyrocopters come flying around on the side. We go into magic. Uh, magic was six to six. Uh, everything they rolled was dispelled, and then uh, the uh, the last spell cast was drain magic. And drain magic was rolled double sixes irresistibly with a miscast four, which is hilarious. So, uh, two white lions die, and their level four falls down the hole, turn one without having accomplished anything. I guess except maybe giving them a a, a six up ward for a, for a turn, but that that's probably not worth it. So that's great. Um, I have it written down that that's a larial, and not a level four, but I'm not sure if that's if that's right or not. It doesn't matter. She's dead or he's dead, whatever. So, um. We go into shooting, and a rock falls on some archers and kills a bunch. Um, one of those one of those archer units just has dice. Uh, uh, those aren't that doesn't mean that there's twelve guys there. There's just two more guys left. Uh, my wife's painting up the uh, the last unit there. So, and the the, the book behind the the uh, mage there is just to remind us that he has the book of Asher, which is awesome because plus six to casting in the woods for wood elves. That's pretty sweet. Um, especially with Heavens, because Heavens, everything is so low to cast, it's easy to spit out. Oh, and one wound fell on Tim, it looks like. Probably for some archers or something. So, uh, we go into bottom of turn two, or turn one, sorry. Um, not a lot of movement, uh, all the movement that happened you can see here. Actually, the entirety of this image can be summed up, or this turn can be summed up right here. So, uh, Gyrocopter flew up, Tim flew up to get in range for some death casting. <laughs> Um, magic was, uh, pretty much a bust. Um, we did get off a, uh, a death spell or so, but it didn't do anything. So, um, that's fine and dandy. And then sh the result of shooting is captured in this image too. So a few, um, since, since Bane of the World Dragon is on the White Lions, um, the Dwarf Thunderers are shooting the White Lions while the Archers are shooting the, uh, or the, the Wood Elf Archers are shooting the Dwarf block there. So a few people fall off, and then um, the Oregon Gun goes off and decimates that Archer unit up there. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, if I recall, the, the cannon shot sticks in the mud, and the Grudge Thrower... Oh, the Grudge Thrower does kill the Bolt Thrower there. We went back and looked at this. Originally, someone said, no, no, uh, or the Grudge Thrower hit, and someone said, oh, the Grudge Thrower is strength 8, not strength 9. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. And so we rolled it out, and the Grudge Thrower failed to wound because it rolled a 2 or something like that on toughness 7. And then we went back and looked it up, and it was a strength. It is strength 9, so it did kill that Thrower. So that'll be remedied, as you don't see. So turn 2. Uh, I, I didn't take a picture. Well, okay. So there was a bunch of charges declared on this side. Um, the White Lions charged Tim. The Warriors charged the Gyrocopter. And so flee on both of those um, was the intention. And um, the Warriors caught the Gyrocopter because I rolled really bad. And uh, the White Lions charged him, he got away, and then the Gyrocopter, out of the three of them, caught him. So, two, three, all, all three Gyrocopters charged Tim, and one of them caught him and killed him. So, he, he died too. So, at first I was like, oh man, that sucks, that was a lot of wasted points, right? Um, anyway, so this is just an uh, outcome of that. Just seeing kind of how out of position they all are, and then you can see that that bolt thrower is is gone, as I said. So that's all for movement. Uh, magic was five to four. 
but they didn't have a mage, so I don't know why we bothered with that. Uh, so, our, they shot, uh, they killed a dwarf, looks like. Probably the archers. Um, the, the organ gun of theirs has been shooting at our organ gun, but long range and hard cover means sixes to hit. So it hasn't been very effective. Uh, so this is the last picture I have of the game because this is the. Uh, all right, I should have taken more pictures, but at the at, but, but this is the bottom one. Turn two. Our our opponents uh, wanted to concede. We had done a thunderbolt. We knocked off a um, gyrocopter of theirs that was close. Um, the uh, our grudge thrower killed their grudge thrower. Our cannon killed their organ gun, and our archers and um, uh, the archers and the organ gun just w smashed up a bunch of dwarves here. The uh, the thunderers killed uh, you know a few white lions, and our our opponents decided they wanted to call it. They they had no no emphasis of winning. They realized how how to position their combat blocks were. So they were going to take at least probably two more rounds of shooting, um, and their gyrocopters were so far away from failed charges that they didn't have any real expectations of, of getting across the board. Um, the the dwarf artillery certainly outclassed the high elf artillery, so made a, a bit of a, a bit of a big difference. So uh, in the end, it was a, a victory to the dwarf plus wood elves. Our, our opponents conceded, so that's that's pretty good, I guess. I mean, it wasn't a, it wasn't a super fun game, but it was it was nice to get practice out for for what we were doing. And excuse me if I sneeze terribly loud here. So, uh, just some thoughts um, on this game. Um, it was it was okay. It it was fun to uh, finally get to get to play these two things together. I mean, I've been painting. Dwarves almost solely just so that we can play it together in teams, and I, I haven't really gotten to play with them yet, so it was fun to see how they synergized. Um, letting my letting letting my opponent uh, or my my teammate obviously have all of the power dice is is very helpful since we don't have to share them. Um, getting getting to bring uh, all of the dwarf dwarf fun and still have a good magic phase beside you is pretty sweet. Um, the reason we, we've chosen Heavens as the, the main uh, magic lore for the High Elves to play is hopefully to bubble off harmonic conversions and things like that just to help out the uh, the dwarf shooting. And, well, and everyone's shooting, really, but to help fill in gaps with that Ballistic Skill 3. So uh, we didn't get harmonic conversions off because they, they always dispelled it, but um, otherwise I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, other thoughts would be might be trying to be a little more careful with Tim. He uh, he's not an exorbitant amount of points, but when you only have two thousand points, I mean, throwing away a character on an eagle. I mean, I, I think it was honestly just a little bad luck that we lost him, um, but you know, it, it happens. So just try to be a little careful with him. And uh, I'm also thinking I'm going to drop some of the upgrades for my dwarf characters. Um, they didn't see combat, and now that I think about it, I don't really think they're going to. So, drop the Gromwell. Um, I'll probably actually, if I'm going to keep a Master Engineer, I'll probably also drop the Forging off the Organ Gun. Um, just so I can get a couple more Thunderers out of it. Uh, since the, the Engineer is going to provide the reroll as it is. Um, so, those are just some thoughts. It, it was a fun game. It was quick, and so... Uh, we got to chat and, and all that a little bit afterwards. So, since it was so short, I thought I'd uh, provide a little bit of a, a hobby update, if you will. Um, just showing some stuff I've, I've recently been painting. So, that this is, you know, a little more interesting to watch. Uh, this was also just my attempt to see if I could take reasonable pictures with what lights I have and a camera. Or also known as my phone. So, here's the, the first thing I've been working on. Um... Again, we're going to a, a GT this this uh, next month, and so I needed to finish up a few things for my Beastman army. So I needed a another mage. Uh, this is the musician for the Pestigors. Pestigors, um, in previous edition, 
were a uh, Nurgle marked Bestigor. Um, so it's kind of like an elite of the elite. Uh, they don't have these anymore, but the models are just great. So I took the musician from that unit. Um, here's the other side. I painted him up, and so he can be my uh, herdstone caddy. So uh, he can carry my herdstone, and he can stand next to it. Not, not a lot for him to do, but it'll be fun. Um, I was playing with some of the uh, the uh, new technicals, too. Um, trying to get trying to get a better idea on uh, how I want to use uh, the nihil oxide. I did it on the bell there. I think I think it came out okay. I threw a wash on top of it because I thought it was too bright, but otherwise pretty happy. Um, this next set I've been working on. I just finished the night before. Um, I'm painting I'm painting more dwarves than I need for our, our team event because I'm gonna flesh it out to a whole dwarf army, but, uh, here are five, um, corollers slash rangers I've been working on, um, they're a bit of a different color scheme than the thunderers, but I think that works out pretty well, so I was kind of trying to go with like a, uh, kind of like a, a Rohan kind of a theme almost, um, with the greens and the, and the bronzes and, and things like that, so, uh, just to be as a little, a little contrary and, and what I did with these models, um, and I think I, I, I stole I obviously stole these ideas from some other guys on the uh, on the Bugman's Brewery forum. But you have a uh, if you buy uh, hammers or uh, iron breakers or any of those kits, you get a lot of extra shoulder pads. So that's pretty sweet. So you can take those shoulder pads and put them on the uh, Thunder Cor Coraler models, and I think it flushes them out a little bit so that they look better in scale. Uh, with the with the current units, because the other guys uh, of the new boxes are bigger, and it, and it looks a little silly side by side. But I think if you uh, give it a good a good hit with this, throw on some shoulder pads, it looks pretty good. Uh, these shields are uh, are uh, long long beard shields. Uh, I just ordered some of these from a, a bits reseller online since I didn't have enough. Because uh, my all my thunderers are also wearing long beard shields, so not you know I was pretty pretty happy with them. I think they they came out nice. I I just wish it didn't take so long. It takes me like a week probably to do these five guys, and I paint a lot. I mean I yeah. so anyway, uh, this is the last chariot I needed to finish for my beastman army. Uh, mostly I needed to finish the rider, but I just figured I'd go over this uh, or the the best decor on the on the thing. Um, I, it, it is a, a Razor Gourd model chariot, but since the Razor Gourd chariots are so expensive, um, it's just going to be a Tuscor chariot for purposes of the uh, game, as long as people are okay with that, obviously. So it's a it's a Chaos chariot, an Orc Boar Boy Boar, uh, which I modeled out uh, to be a Razor Gourd looking guy, obviously, and uh, <clears throat> took a Gore, um, took an uh, took an arm from a. Uh, Marauder, horseman or marauder, some some sort of kit, and a uh, old Bestigor model for the Bestigor, and I think it came out really well. I actually really like the old Bestigor model. It's a uh, it's a uh, really well detailed and uh, and a real pleasure to paint. Um, I like the cloak and the segments of segments of armor attached to it. Um, it was a uh, 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 yeah, it's just like I said, it was just a nice fun fun model to paint. So. I got all this together. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, some of this was done earlier. Uh, attempt with some of the weathering powders and things, just to just to figure out how I can do some of this stuff. So, um, otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll try to get another one of these out soon, and maybe try to include some more pictures. I don't. I don't know if I want to post pictures of stuff we've recently painted. Or just stuff we've painted in general. Um, I think I'll probably just try to stick with what I've recently done and just for little updates. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.